We advocate for authenticity as a value, which means being real about how you feel and owning your story. Sometimes on social media and to a certain extent in our everyday lives, we offer a curated version of ourselves, which is potentially unrealistic and one dimensional. Be cautious of creating a brand and a profile for yourself that's not really reflective of the totality of who you truly are. No one is just an adrenaline junkie or just a parent or just a CEO or just a survivor of trauma. Each of us have a tapestry of identities based on our relationships, hobbies, and beliefs. As part of sharing your story, you're committing to sharing more of the whole real you. Most of us know how to stay safer online now, but here are a few permission slips for you to apply at will. It's okay to delete, block or report anyone who crosses your boundaries on your page. Your social media is an extension of you and electronic boundaries are to be respected in the same way as we'd expect live boundaries to be. It's okay to restrict your audience, check your privacy settings, share with a trusted few or share widely, but you choose. It's okay to disengage from conversations or ignore comments that don't require or deserve your emotional bandwidth. Come back to them later if you like, but give yourself permission to disagree quietly if someone presents an opinion or an idea that you oppose. 